We're going to remain clear of the Class Bravo airspace using the Garmin GTN 750. Let's get into it. So let's zoom in and take a look at the first problem. The first problem is we're cutting a corner really close. We don't want to be that close, so let's set a user waypoint by clicking on the map where we'd like to fly and clicking on the Create User Waypoint button. Now we have a user waypoint. Now you hit Graphically Edit FPL and you click and drag your flight plan over there and now that's our new spot. Let's go direct to that new spot. And so problem number one is solved. We'll come back to the altitude issue later. For the next one, we'd like to figure out how far away is that shelf from our destination so that we can set an appropriate waypoint in our existing flight plan. So you go like you're going to create a user waypoint and then you find from your flight plan your new reference point. And then you can scroll around, click and pinch zoom and find out how far away is this. It's about 26 miles away. So after doing that, you don't create the waypoint. Instead, you go to your flight plan. Let's set another altitude restriction first. And then we're gonna create another flight plan waypoint that is 26 miles along the track, just like we saw from our earlier experiment. We're going to our custom waypoint at 5900 and our offset waypoint at 3500. Now, a common mistake, don't forget to set your altitude bug to the lowest altitude in your flight plan. Otherwise, the whole thing is going to fall apart and your autopilot's going to stop at that altitude. Now, we're going to be happy. The controllers are going to be happy because we're avoiding Class Bravo airspace using VNAV and the GTN 750 from Garmin. That's it for this episode. Please subscribe and check out another one.